The sons of Mosiah rejected the offer to become king, so they could preach to the Lamanites instead. When they got to the Lamanite lands, they separated, with each person going to a different city. Ammon went to the city of Ishmael. Ammon was bound and carried to King Lamoni. Lamoni liked Ammon so much that he released him, and King Lamoni wanted Ammon to marry his daughter. Ammon said he just wanted to be a servant. Lamoni put Ammon on sheep watching duty. In his third day on the job, a group of men came and scattered the king's flock. The other servants were freaked. They were scared because they thought the king would kill them. Ammon told them to gather the flock. When the flock was gathered, the group again threatened to scatter the sheep. However, Ammon protected the flock. With his sling, he stopped many of them. This made the others very angry, and they attacked with clubs. But Ammon withstood them, and they fled. The servants reported to Lamoni, who was amazed, and assumed that Ammon was God. So when Ammon came in unto the king, Lamoni was speechless. They stood without speaking for an hour. Eventually, the spirit prompted Ammon with insights into what Lamoni was thinking. This made Lamoni even more amazed and helped Ammon earn Lamoni's trust. Ammon then taught Lamoni about the fall of Adam and Eve and about the atonement. Lamoni cried to God for mercy and then fell to the earth, where he lay for two days. Because they thought he was dead, they prepared to bury him. But the queen didn't think Lamoni was stinky enough to be dead. She had faith in Ammon's word, and so she asked him what she should do. He said that Lamoni would rise the next day, and so she stayed by his bedside until he rose. When Lamoni rose, he taught everyone there about Christ, and soon they had all fallen to the earth, everyone that is, but Abish. Abish had been converted to the Lord many years before. She saw this moment as an opportunity to help others become converted to Christ. So she ran house to house, inviting everyone to see what had occurred for themselves. A large group gathered, and one of them raised a sword to kill Ammon, but instead, he fell dead. The people argued about what this all meant. This made Abish sad, and so she took the queen's hand, hoping to raise her. Soon the whole group had arisen, and they taught the crowd that was gathered. Ammon established a church among Lamoni's people. God then told him to go up to Madoni so he could free his brothers from prison. Lamoni insisted on going with Ammon. On their journey, they met Lamoni's father, who was king over the entire land. The king had some anger issues. First, he directed that anger towards Ammon, asking Lamoni to kill him. And then he turned on his own son. Ammon intervened to keep him from killing Lamoni. When the king saw Ammon's love for Lamoni, it changed his heart, and he wanted to know more about Christ. Ammon's brothers were released from prison, and they continued to teach the people. Eventually, Aaron taught the king, who had a conversion experience similar to Lamoni's. Thank you.